love like salt. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a king with three little daughters. The king loved his daughters dearly and spent every moment he could with them, playing games and teaching them about whatever they liked. One day, he decided to find out how much his daughters loved him. He started with the eldest one. My lovely daughter, how much do you love me? The king asked. Oh, Bubba, I love you as much as I love gold, the eldest princess said. The king happily hugged his daughter and then called in his middle-born daughter. My wonderful daughter, how much do you love me? Oh, Bubba, I love you as much as I love diamonds, the middle princess replied. The king was filled with joy. He called in the youngest princess, but when he asked the same question, the little princess said, Oh, Bubba, I love you as much as I love salt. Huh? The king was confused. How can you say that? He was offended and sad. Salt? The king walked away thinking that his youngest daughter did not love him at all. But Bubba, the princess tried to explain. The king didn't want to hear anything she had to say. He was angry and humiliated, so he drove her away from him. He decided that he would not talk to his daughter anymore and that he would never buy her clothes and toys again. As the days went by, the youngest princess wore old clothes and played with old dolls, while her two older sisters had everything. Noticing that the king was not paying attention to his youngest daughter, one of the chefs in the castle decided to find out what the problem was. Why isn't your father talking to you? She asked the little princess, who was playing in the garden with a torn doll. The little princess told her whole story from the very beginning. Don't worry, princess, the chef said. Your father will realize he was wrong. That night, as the chef prepared dinner, she made all of the dishes without salt. Finally, the table was set and the great feast began. After the first bite of food, the king scrunched up his nose. What is this? The king frowned. This food has no taste. Oh, your majesty, the food is tasteless because there is no salt in it, the chef said. We thought salt was worthless to you. Understanding dawned over the king's face. He realized how important salt was and how great the love of his youngest daughter was. What a mistake he had made. Running over, he knelt in front of her and swept up the little princess into a hug. I am very sorry, the king said. I was so wrong. It was wrong of me not to listen to you and then to punish you. I will do everything I can to make it up to you. I love you. Thank you, Baba, the little princess smiled as she hugged her father. I love you too, as much as I love salt.